Hi, I'm Shauna Thomas, registered holistic nutritional consultant and founder of Hockey Snacks. And today I'm making my most popular granola recipe, maple pecan granola, and I'm using Splendor Garden organic oats. Now I love Splendor Garden because they're a Canadian company and they have a variety of oats for you to choose from. They have rolled oats, thick oats, steel cut oats, and now they also offer oat flour. So whatever you're making in your kitchen, there is an oat for your recipe from Splendor Garden. Now let's get to this granola recipe. First, we're gonna start, of course, with Splendor Garden oats. I've chosen to use thick cut oats for this granola recipe because they're thicker than rolled oats, but not as thick as steel cut. They're perfect for granola to give you a little bit of that chewiness and that bite, but they also look really beautiful. So we're gonna add two cups of Splendor Garden thick cut oats to our bowl. Next, we're gonna dress it up with all those wonderful flavors that bring that granola together. So because it's a maple pecan granola, we're going to add pecan, chopped up pecans, a quarter cup. We're going to add a quarter cup of pepitas. Now, if you're not familiar with pepitas, they're hulled pumpkin seeds. So they're the middle of the pumpkin seed. They're full of iron and they're a great source of protein and perfect for this granola. The next thing that we're going to add is flax meal. Now I love flax seeds because they are full of really healthy fats, but in order for our bodies to be able to utilize those fats, we have to grind them up. So that's why it's called flax meal. It's all ground up already for us. So we're gonna add a quarter cup of this as well. The last two things we're adding are really going to give this granola some flavor. So we're going to add some salt. And I know you're probably thinking, why are you adding salt to a sweet food? But just trust me on this one. The sweet and salty combination is unbelievable. And we're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. And our last ingredient that we're adding to the dry components here is the Splendor Garden Organic Cinnamon. This cinnamon tastes so much better than anything I've ever bought from the regular grocery store. And we're adding half a teaspoon right into our dry ingredients. This really warms the granola up and brings all those flavors together. It is excellent. So we're gonna stir all of this together and then we'll start adding our wet ingredients. We want to make sure that everything is really well combined before we start adding everything else. Perfect. So now we're going to add our wet ingredients. First, we're adding our oil. Now you need to have oil in a granola to really crunch it up and make it all stick together. So we are adding coconut oil and we're only adding a quarter cup. It's actually not very much when you think about it. We wanna make sure that we saturate every single oat in here and make sure everything is perfectly coated before we add the maple syrup. Perfect, so we have all of our dry ingredients plus our coconut oil in here, and now it's time to add that maple syrup. And this is gonna give it that sweetness and beautiful Canadian maple flavor. We're going to add a third of a cup of maple syrup. So make sure everything is really well combined. And then it's time to bake. Perfect, so now that everything's combined, we can get this in the oven. You wanna make sure that you have parchment paper on your baking sheet to make sure nothing sticks. We just put everything on our baking sheet and we're gonna spread it around so that it can cook nice and evenly. The best part about this granola is there's no fussing with it once it's in the oven. You leave it for 30 minutes at 300 degrees and don't touch it. 
After those 30 minutes, you take it out, let it cool, and you have these nice big pieces of granola. It's perfect. And now we wait. While we're waiting for our granola to cook, let me tell you why I love Splendor Garden so much. First of all, they're incredibly versatile. You can use oats in so many different recipes and I use everything that they have to offer. I use rolled oats for overnight oats and muffins and cookies and I use their thick oats for things like my granola. It's so perfect and the taste is so good. I've used their steel cut oats just for making classic oatmeal. The fact that they're steel cut means they're less processed and it takes your body more time to digest so it keeps you fuller longer. I already mentioned that they're Canadian, which is really important to me to support a local Canadian company. And as well, their oat flour is so great because it's a gluten-free option that I can use in all of my recipes. I also love the fact that Splendor Garden offers an entire line of organic herbs and spices. You can go on their website and find so many different spices and mixes that you can use in all of your cooking and baking. As well, they have salt free dip mixes that I love mixing into yogurt or even sometimes some sour cream as a treat. And they are delicious served with veggies on a Saturday afternoon. All right, it's been 30 minutes. Let's get our granola out of the oven. Oh, I wish you could smell this right now. It smells so good and it was so easy to make. Now we have fresh homemade granola to have for breakfast or just as a snack in the afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Shauna Thomas here with Organic Splendor Garden Oats. Have a great day.